TV. All right. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Thank you for tuning in right now to the We Don't Smoke the Same Show. It's another fucking episode here in LA. Joining me is C Minus. We got a dope interview coming up. Mm. I'm lighting up this fucking joint. And uh, before we keep going, I want to go ahead and thank uh, our sponsor of the show today, which is Dime Industries, uh, a.k.a. It's Dime Time. Yep. This is 100% legal. They are legally tested. They are in all your legal dispensaries, well, majority of your legal dispensaries, the popping ones. And uh, they come with their own set of equipment. So make sure you guys check them out at dime.industries. And uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I got to fucking light up. What about you, C-minus? What's going on with you, man? Oh, man, you know, just... Uh... It's October already, bro. It's October, dude. <laughs> the last three fucking months of the of like the the like any year just don't like it goes uh Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Happy New Year. Yep. Like and it almost feels like that shit happens all in a week. You know, it's a trip because at the beginning of this year I was saying to myself, Man, I think this year is gonna fucking lag as far as you know, it's gonna feel like forever. It almost feels like just like yesterday we were kicking at a rooftop at some summer party. Yeah, yeah, or just or like it was we were doing the, the Green Thumb experience at the beginning of the that year. That was this year, fuck. That was the beginning of the, that was January, beginning of this year. So it's it's for me, it's always like it's it's this has been that year where I thought for sure it was gonna last forever. But here we are, it's October and it's fucking almost Christmas and shit. Once Halloween hits, that shit's over. Nothing else the, the, nothing yeah, else goes as fast. It's you you don't and then the fucked up thing is that like the more it keeps going, once fucking Christmas passes, you're in the state where you don't know what the fuck time it is. Like you don't like it's like, it's like oh yeah, that time before after the twenty fifth to the thirty first, it feels weird because you it feels like the days are not normal. Every day you're fucking eating tamales and shit. Well, we're about to go. Uh, isn't it daylight savings time about to happen? Fuck, I for, yeah, that's, I feel like that shit hasn't happened in a while too, man. That's going to happen. It's going to get dark earlier again. So enjoy these motherfucking days we got right now. That shit is going to be fucking dark at five again. After October, after October, that's when all the crazy people come out for like holiday shopping and shit like that. All the people that have been hibernating in the summer like, oh, I can't wait to fuck somebody up at Walmart on Black Friday. Yep. <laughs> oh, man, Black Friday. I mean, that's when you get to see all the ridiculous people fucking stand outside for days. <coughs> To try to get that new TV for two hundred dollars, you know, pe- people like that ruin the experience. Because I'm one of those, I'm one of those people that like to go to the store to buy shit. Like I don't, I don't. If I order a shirt, I have to see it, hold it, check the tag, make sure there's no thread fucked up. I check it the way the fuck out. I can't trust one hundred. Put one, put trust one hundred percent into a company that I bought some shit online. Yeah, yeah like man. I gotta inspect it. So like for me. When it comes to holiday shopping, I feel that you have to kind of, like, you have to settle for going online, in a sense, because I'm not really trying to deal with that whole fucking, uh, you know, like, fighting for a TV and all this shit. <laughs> My favorite part about the holiday, or, like, the start of this shit is, I mean, the Halloween thing. I'm not a big horror fan. Right, but you like the spirit I, of Halloween. I'm a big horror fan. <laughs> <laughs> I only <laughs> like him without the double R fan. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm not a big horror fan, and uh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> You know, but I do partake in these uh, these certain uh, theme park things. Uh, like I went to Universal Studios Horror Nights. Yep, that was pretty dope. Uh, that fun. Yeah, I did. You want me to tell you what the scariest part was? The, sc- yes. the scariest ride was the fucking security check. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary as fuck making it through that fucking security checkpoint. That's very much like TSA when you got drugs in your wallet. <laughs> and there's a fucking there's there's a a dog on the side with the sheriff, and I'm over here like fuck. That was the scariest part, bro. It was like every every one of those sheriffs was way scarier than any monster they had in there, bro. <laughs> like to, wow. How I, was? Did you go to the Stranger Things? Um, not nah, that wasn't really uh, the one I did. That's not that shit was number one. It was packed, and I I don't really like. I haven't gotten into the show as much for me to appreciate it. I did go to the Ghostbuster one. Okay, that shit was tight, man. Like they. The way they fucking go about uh, putting these special effects, like that big green thing. Yep. That was that. What's that? What's his name? The fucking uh, uh, Boogie or whatever. Uh, he, uh, what's his? Uh... He made the high C. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. For I want some of that shit. Hey, any of these exotic fucking pop stores? If you're fucking watching, 
I don't give a fuck about soda from Switzerland or fucking black water from Niagara Falls or wherever the fuck. I was like, find me electro cooler fucking uh, flavor of high C from the Ghostbusters thing. Mm. You know Slimer, what? that was his name. Yeah, Slimer. 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 Okay, so that motherfucker was like everywhere, but like it was, it's not just a, like a puppet popping out. Like the motherfucker, like I was looking at it because I'm not really scared of these fucking things when they pop out. Like they try to do, ooh, this thing, and I'll, just, I'll stare at them, bro. Like yeah, number yeah, one, yeah. I've been drinking. Number two, I'm partaking in other or, or illicit activities. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just like looking at them and like I was noticing things. And then the effects that they have on this thing down to the T, like the eyes on the fucking puppet follow you. Or it makes certain facial expressions. A little expressions. scary. Like, like, let's say if you if you like if you flick it off, that shit will fucking get mad at you. And like, it's fucking what? weird. Yes, it's wow. weird. It has emotions. It's like next to like, okay, not that it has emotions, but it's like if this little fucking gnome right here, like, if, if, like if it was animated, right? And let's just say like I'm walking through the maze and the gnome is like, Ugh, and I'm just like, Ugh, whatever. And he's like laughing at me because he scared me. And then you come around, you're like, fuck you. And then the dude's like. That would trip you out, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, fuck yeah. That would trip me that's, out. Fuck that's, yeah. That's how down they have their shit at Universal Studios. So I would mm. recommend it. it get, definitely get the Express Pass and fuck their vodka drinks. All they have, all they do, all they try to do is like sell you whatever drink they want to do. I was drinking tequila already. I didn't need to drink vodka. So, mm-hmm. But I still needed, I still wanted to drink. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, as uh, one should. And it was a cool drink. It was a cool cup. <laughs> like it was inside of a skull and shit. But like, be real? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like, yo. He, Damn. Was, he does have, I was like, he does have like, all that, what's that stick that he has over there? Like that fucking warlock stick? Oh, yeah, 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 He has yeah, artifacts yeah. like that, bro. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to do the, the Universal Studios Horror Nights, but I also kind of want to do Not Scary Farm. Because I haven't, I, last time I was that was like 20 years ago. 15, maybe. I like At, at most. Uh, do you do you still get do you go for the fact that you're just celebrating Halloween or do you go for the fact that you just you know what I mean you just, it's the thing to do? I just go because I you know I do love the spirit. Or do of you Halloween. get scared? I like the spirit I kinda, of it. But I, don't I get, kinda get scared. I mean, you still it, get a little ooh. an unexpected <coughs> shit. Hell yeah! <coughs> like fuck yeah, I get scared. I mean, it's the unexpected shit. It's like gory and all that stuff. I'm not really frightened by, but like if someone pops up out of you, like I'm okay. Here's a perfect example. Last time I was at Not Scary Farm. They, they had uh, fog at, like, waist level. Oh, but I, I hate when they fucking do that, man. Right? Because you've been yeah. there when they've done that, right? So it's like, okay, so I I'm start walking. doing this shit. Yeah. And, like, this <laughs> like one, I dude, this one dude came, he came up and he just tapped me on my shoulder or whatever. And so he was, like. Did he do the clicking shit? I, like, or, like, when they do, because they have this clickers in their hand where they, like, don't, don't uh, click, click. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck. I, like, I want to swing at that <laughs> shit, dude. I want to do one of those Ryu moves. Like, <laughs> like oh, you yeah. want to do that? <laughs> So this dude came up and fucking tapped me, and I was like, what the fuck? And then... Uh, were you, did, on, were you on, uh, on, like, weed or mushrooms? I was just on weed. Okay. And so I was already like, what? I was already on edge. Yeah. You know? Oh, you know? And so this dude fucking tapped me again, and I turned around like, fuck, I guess the way I turned around, he didn't like... He was like, ah, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, I wasn't going to hit you. You know, I'm just fucking... He's like, oh, man, you know, he's like, hey, just for further... You know, there are going to be more of us Cold doing need a bong load? So do you can. There you go. Yeah, I was like, I know you have a big ass bong up there. Hey, cool. Will you get the door? But uh, yeah, I mean, the the I like I like these theme parks. I like, I wish they served more alcohol, you know, because it's already hard enough sneaking in a bunch of shit in there. Um, I, I do it for more from the spirit. I don't really get scared because the gory shit. I, I don't like looking at it in film. Yeah, yeah. In film, me too. it's weird to me. Yeah. I get really tricked into it. My mind tricks me that way, but. If I see it in person, like when they'll have like a bunch of body parts dangling, I'll be like, get this shit out the fuck yeah, away. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm, 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 I'm all for the spirit of it of just like, you know, certain things unexpected. Do you still dress up? Uh, What's the last time you dressed up? And would you still dress up? I would still dress up. If it's a bunch of us getting together to do like a party. A like we all went to Motown and it was dress up night? Yeah, I would do it. Okay. I always dress up when I DJ in Halloween. When last time I did the do over, I, I dressed up as uh, Johnny Cash. That was pretty easy and awesome. I just had a pomp and then I had like a. I kind of want to uh, dress dress up as Guy Fieri this year, mm. <laughs> like, like like Mayor of Flavor Town. Oh man, you know how dope that'll be if I get that and I get the fucking wig and the fucking you, thing is like dine. You get the diners. glasses, you get the glasses, and then you hang them backwards. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's like dine diners and doobies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, that that would, you do, please. Okay, so like. Me and the home, you know BJ. Yeah. We were gonna we were gonna go dressed as uh we were gonna do Prince and Jerome for Under the Cherry Moon, but also like we were thinking of something else to do too. But yeah, maybe it's uh, it's a good month. 
It's a good month, to, you know. I, I want to get like costumes where it's like I don't have to go to the fucking uh, like Halloween store unless it's for like a wig or some shit. Like a little the, accessory, not the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, I don't like. I want to. I've never fucking done the creative shit where I put it together. So I was looking at characters. So I'm like, all right, I do high and hungry. I got to fucking, like, uh, do this shit. And then I was also thinking, I was like, hey, George, I was like, what if we go to the comedy store and I just be you for one night? <laughs> like, no, like, hey, uh, yeah, funny. <laughs> like, just, like, like, hey, George, I was like, you switch, was, switch spots, but like, what's up, homie? I, I, I kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll go to the store and watch that. that I, you have to get them on board. Or, like, we just dress up as each other. Somebody comes through and dresses up as Eddie. <laughs> like, we just, they just mock each other. Oh, jeez. But, but yeah, I, my, one of my one of my uh, costumes this year, I, and I'm gonna put it together is is Guy Fieri. I do. I am gonna dress up. I'm gonna get the fucking wig. You get the. I fuck- might even do a fucking episode like that and be like, it's dine <laughs> diners and doobies. And no, we just fucking get fucked can, up. Can we do a high and hungry like that? Yeah, I'm down. You know what I mean? Like you know, April. In April. That's what we gotta do. April for the month of April. We gotta do April Fool's month. We got to fucking do one episode where you go completely. I found, I found the spot where he probably gets his shirts. It's where I got this one. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. You're constellational. <laughs> they have a bunch of shirts. T-shirt effort. They have, like, food and shit. So I was going to start getting into those to wear them for, like, these places. But they have three versions of the Guy Fieri fucking uh, shirts. So I, I, it would be so dope to do the mock or even do a couple mock episodes. Just if you even get his attention. Or imagine if he reposts it. Oh, my God. It's Damn, done. I would lose that shit, man. Hell yeah. Who would you want to like eat with like after doing high and hungry, bro? Like, <laughs> like is there somebody on your list that you would want to eat? Like me, honestly, even though uh, <laughs> Chef Ramsay seems to be like the fucking asshole, like from what it is, I would love to have a meal served by that motherfucker. I would uh, be like, thanks, oh, yeah, asshole. That would be cool. Uh, you know, uh, maybe John Favreau, because he's uh He's into culinary and shit, and you yeah, know, and me. he's a director for Iron Man, and oh. he also did the new Star Wars uh, television series that's coming up. He's a, he and you know he's a he's a DJ aficionado. Oh so damn! He, so yeah, you, you, he put uh, he put DJ AM in Iron Man too. There's a scene where I, in Iron Man two where DJ AM is DJing at this party or whatever. Like that's because of John Favreau. He did what somebody did for Macy Gray in Spider Man one. Yeah, <laughs> she had no business being in that fucking movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so yeah, maybe John Farrow because I'd love to like talk music, food, film. You know, just yeah. where, like he'd be one of those. That's, that's a very. I feel like you've thought about that before because you're like, oh, DJ aficionado. He, I see, know that he cooks. Like I just thought Gordon Ramsay just for the fact that I was like, man, even if I asked him for a grilled cheese, you know how badass that grilled cheese would be. <laughs> like I mean, I mean yeah, he'd probably I mean, get pissed off the fact that like you gonna ask me for a grilled cheese like <laughs> like just fucking brief. pissed off. Or... <laughs> hey, dude, one of the greatest grilled cheeses I've ever had is the most fucking is it was um it was bread. It was uh what was it? It was uh hold on, it was uh, cranberry apple bread, right? With brie cheese and pears. That sounds dank. With pears? With pears. I can see that working, but I have to try it. It's like there's certain there's certain vegetables and fruits that I've thought about dipping in cheese with. Oh, Just yeah. like I like Why I don't not? know if I was high or but I didn't do it on some of them. I'm like, like <laughs> like I saw it, I'm like, well nobody's here. Like, fuck it. <laughs> like Right. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, do something uh, stupid like dip grape in that shit. Gonna, like, or, is it gonna be good? <laughs> that shit would be nasty. Yeah. So that, as a, dude, I mean, asking Gordon Ramsay for a grilled cheese, that would kind of be epic, I think, in a sense, because you're asking him to, because you really, to, for a simple food like that, I would think it would almost be a little more difficult for a chef to make, who's he, used to like adding all these components to make this amazing. He'd probably hit you with some of these, like, to make it better, I made this puree to match. Like, you know, like, it's like, I, like I had to bake <laughs> my own bread. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I made the bread from scratch. Bread from scratch, <laughs> started this morning. Yeah, like he just, he would do some shit. He's like, I fucking grinded the wheat. I milked the, I milked the cow and made the cheese this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some right, shit like that. Right after I got through baking they would, the bread. They would have to make it something so complex. Yeah. That they, you know what I mean? That it would just, that's how it would, it would that's how chefs are. But that's, that's who I would fucking want to eat with, man. That's, I mean, or like get a meal cooked from, like, or something like that, man. That would be the shit, man. Yeah, that would be. I think, yeah, that would absolutely be the shit. Come on, Gordon Ramsay. Come on to the show. You know, I've been, uh, I've been uh, thinking about going to the zoo because I, I, I like the wildlife a lot. 
But it's it, it, there's some people that whenever I tell them about it, they're like, "You're such an asshole. Those animals are sad." <laughs> like, right? and I'm just like, "Those animals are safe, bitch." <laughs> you know, what I'm yeah, like, like those animals are safe, bitch. That that polar bear has a refrigerator 24 seven. Leave it alone. And the IC sponsorship. And he's eating. <laughs> yeah, and he's eating. Where, where you see all the other polar bears dying of starvation. That mother, yeah, you know, Polly the polar bear is fucking eating. Yeah, man. I was like, do you think the zoos are a sad place? I think they are a little bit. Because if, if the animals are not taken care of, I would say. Uh, well, because sometimes you see there's, you know, there's like you can see animals that have gotten used to it and this, you know, like they're just there. Yeah. And then you still see them with some with like, they kind of have the sad eyes or they have terror in their eyes, you know, yeah. or they're not trying to be social and, you know, and you know, that's true. They are in a cage, you know, but at the same time, as a kid, I grew up going to the zoos and f learning about shit. That's how I learned about, you know, would you ever be, would you, would you ever, ever do one of those? Like, I'm not really one of those, like, people, when they have a snake at a restaurant or something like that, be like, oh, let me take a picture with the big no, snake. No, no, I always fucking think about, like, the snake being like, oh, it just fucking yeah, me up. You know what I mean? Like, that's every, day, I don't man. know if Anaconda did that to me, but, like. like that's the, any like, day, bro. It just, the, you know what I mean? Like, the fucking snake, when they put you into the snake, the, that's the only thing I think about is, like, just bam, just getting bit. I mean, but I, I, like, I would like to, like, handle some wildlife, like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that shit absolutely. would be cool. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I could pet a fucking, uh, uh, like, a jaguar or a fucking, uh, 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 what's the black one? A panther? Yeah. Yeah, like, that shit would be badass. I would rather fuck with petting a panther or a jaguar or even the attempt of than f if what any about of shaking that hands with a gorilla? than a snake. I wouldn't fuck with a snake at would all. Would you shake hands with a gorilla? Like a silver Yeah. Bear? Why not? I'd be, like, he could just tear your arm off. Yeah, he you. could tear my arm off. <laughs> but if he doesn't, guess what? I just, the guy I just shook, shook hands, hands with, with a motherfucking yeah. I shook hands with Harambe. That's just badass. That would be badass. But yeah. if I he but it also wouldn't be badass if he took my arm off either. Yeah. That would be the worst of. That would be the quite opposite. You'd be like of the You'd be like the girl from Kill Bill when she gets her arm chopped off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, fucking. It's rad like it squirts fucking... out a certain thing because the bones cut. Cue's <laughs> rad garage rock music. I know I hated that scene, but then I looked at it. I was like, damn man, the graphics sucked. <laughs> like every the older you get, you realize you're like the graphics suck now. Yeah, I do. But something about that scene, and you're talking about Kill Bill, right? Yeah. Something about that scene, I'm really kind of. It's I guess it's the overuse of the blood squirting everywhere. You know what I mean? Where it's just so much. Every appendage that comes off, they're shooting blood. It's like there's nothing subtle. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So that's cool. Like so. So that you know the way that he paid homage to that is definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie that like, there's no delay in those kind of films these days because like if you watch the old school like uh martial arts movies like anytime they would talk or like it would be, it would be delayed because there's so much fucking moving and fast it's, it's hard to capture it yeah man <laughs> like yeah, yeah. true, true was that. it intentional oh i didn't i didn't know if it was intentional i'm just i'm like is it delayed because of that no 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 i think i was like what the fuck i, I was think like, it these was they're over here just like going at it <laughs> <laughs> nah man i'm a big i'm a big uh Tarantino fan as far as the way he Did you finally go see that movie? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. You know, Dude, I'm trying I know I want told you I want I'll, I want to go the second time and I've been talking to Ray about going ah, ah. Uh but yeah, I want to go see it a second time because I was quite inebriated when I saw it. I was on like an edible and then we did like two joints and then it was I ate a lot of food and then the seats were kind of too comfortable. And yeah, you, were, you know. Oh, you fell asleep. Huh? I fell asleep during oh, parts of it. Oh, you damn, dude. That, that's well, my, my okay. So me and BJ decided to go at like the eleven o'clock showing after for a three-hour movie, dude. Yeah, that's my oh, that's I, my fault. Oh. That's my fault. Yeah, I get you it. Fucked up, man. I know. You fucked up, man. I know. But there's some. But I mean, I really the end scene <laughs> of Once Upon a Time, the way that Tarantino chooses to use the violence and fighting in his shit is fucking superb. I think. I was like, the next time you try to go watch it, like I feel like Sosa's going to be at the end. Like, you know, Sosa told Scarface, there's not going to be a fucking next time, you little monkey. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, cause they're going to fucking take that shit off the fucking film. Oh, the, yeah. It's, it's about that time, right, where they fucking take it off almost? Yeah, but it, I think right now it's still going to be on. They may do like a last push. It's still at the new Bev? Wow. I want to go there, but I hear the seats are quite uncomfortable. 
It's a three hour movie. I got to make sure. Once that... I've been to iPix, bro, it, or iPix, it just, I can't go back. I can't go back. Like, unless I go to a movie by myself, which uh-huh. I really won't care. But if I'm going with somebody, like, it's like, hey, man, we can do this in style, eh? Like, yeah, I, man. I need yeah. to have the fucking drinks coming with, like, whatever version of Jeffrey from Fresh Prince you got to work in here, dog. <laughs> I was like, I just, you know, I was like, I need that. <laughs> I need that. I need all of that. Hey, hey, who the fuck you think you're talking to? By the way, we do have a very special guest coming on today. Shout out to Laura. We have Travis Thompson coming on. This guy looks like Emilio a lot. If Emilio, like, <laughs> like for real, like, I'm not going to lie, because people know, like, if you know that my producer, A-Way, like. He like I I literally told him I was like this is what you think you picture yourself like when you sing huh? <laughs> and then, and then, Damn. And, and he, he was like fuck you man. Like he just started going at it. But this guy does a lot of shit. He's young. He's got a, a dope resume. He's been working with uh, Sir Mix a lot. Opened up for uh, Macklemore. He did the, the the show with the, Jimmy Fallon. What is it? The, the, yeah, yeah. He was on Jimmy Fallon, and he also had collabed with fucking A Track. Yeah, eight, damn, dude. That's he, and he's only twenty three, man. And I, and he smokes weed. Like and he, he smokes weed. He walked in and he said, "Oh shit!" Like I feel at home right here. And like even his his label was like, "This is one of the dopest interviews you've had just yet." Yeah, and he's into skating. Yeah, and he's into skating. So it kind of feels like he's like one of the homies, or probably one of your little homies that you know. Yeah, so yeah, you know. Sure. For C minus, it's like, yo, it's one of my little hobbies. Yeah, me. I was like, hey, yeah, yeah. we're peers. Escape, <laughs> escape by and smoke a joint with him, roll out. Yeah, man, we got that coming up in a few minutes. But uh, I also want to tell you guys to check out the new High and Hungry that is out now. Uh, make sure you add that thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Fuck you. You fucking little monkey. Also, if you're interested in uh, any of the merch for High and Hungry or the flavors by... or. Flavors by E-Zone uh, merch and E-Zone, the firm candle collabs. Highhungry.shop. Also, flavors by E-Zone.com. Yep. Uh, for any of my comedy or stand-up, uh, stand-up uh, gigs, make sure you follow me at E-Zone, the firm. E-Zone, D-A-F-I-R-M. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's just stay, stay in touch. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, are you signing someone's yearbook? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you just did right now? Yeah, bro. Sign someone's yearbook? I was like, KIT, yeah. have a cool summer. Yeah, whatever you guys are watching me at, you know, oh, stay in touch. Oh, that fucking tone change. That's stay when you know. It's like, hey, what's up? All right, what about what you? Up, what, up, what, up? <laughs> what, what do you got going on, C, before we get into the interview? Uh, you can follow me at C minus fan four, C M I N U S F A N four, the number. Um, coming up, what do I got? Motown on Monday. Um, Goes on every Monday. You're almost there all the time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's a Prince and Rick James night we're going to be doing in Vegas. Damn, we we'll letting you know soon. Um, I'll prepare appropriately. Oh, yeah, you will. <laughs> I'm inviting everyone to come out for that. Um, no sleep. And, yeah, just follow me, C-Fan4. Shout out to Trade Craft Farms for uh, always having some loveliness for us to smoke. Keeping us faded. Keeping us faded. And Sticky Vapes. Uh, the pens, we were, we were definitely, uh, when we were at the fair, they came in very handy. Yes, they did. And, uh, yeah, just uh, shout out to my homeboy Endo, Wax Addict LA, at Wax Addict LA. It's the homie. If you need any vinyl, you're looking for something, there's something you really want to, like, find... Hit up my homeboy Endo. Damn, he can make the score to the High and Hungry soundtrack. Mm. Damn, yeah, yeah you would. It'd be like Dude. the last. What's the last time you hear you heard had somebody release a score? <laughs> it's been a while. I remember the last the last score album I bought. It just if you guys don't know, it's like the orchestra or like the shit. It's, the score yeah. is the music that plays. Yeah, it plays in, in certain music, scenes. Yeah. So it's the, it's that kind of music. And uh, the last one I bought was from Men in Black, and I thought it was a soundtrack. <laughs> and I felt stupid. <laughs> I got so pissed, dude. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, laugh at me right now. And uh, it's my fault, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Look at it closely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with our special guest. Uh, what is it? You know, we'll be right back here on Be Real TV. We don't smoke the same show. Be Real TV. Be Real TV. All right, man. We're back here on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show. Yes. It's weird saying that it's kind of like our first official season since we haven't really been. It's been a live stream mostly, but you yeah. know we wanted to bring you higher quality interviews. So this is one of the first interviews to start it off for our show. And I want to welcome you know our special guest, hey. the talented and stone Travis Thompson. Hey, man. Good? Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Joining me is C minus as well. Nah, hell yeah, man. Y'all making me 
feel at home. I love this. I fuck with this. You Thanks. said feel at home, and I mean, I had a little bit of time to do my my research. You know, shout out to Laura. Uh, but uh, I was yep. I was looking up. You said you're originally from Seattle. From Seattle. But that they're they're allowed to smoke weed out there, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's totally legal, right? Hella legal. It's it's like easy as hell. Like. It makes me every time I'm traveling, it makes me hella annoyed because like Seattle, it's so easy to get weed all the time. Like it's just like getting coffee. You know what I'm saying? You walk right. up, you're like, oh yep, I want that, and you bounce. You were but legal, when I, they were legal before here. I'm sorry. They were legal, like yeah, medical days. Like people, yeah. people who like are really in the the like the weed game tell yeah. me the medical days were better <coughs> in Seattle. But like yeah, no, it's just crazy because it's everywhere now and it's more. <coughs> Like you can do it everywhere. You can smoke wherever in Seattle, pretty much. I like, there's no static. It's kind of like here. It's just like you really can't, but like you're not gonna but get trouble. But you can though. You know yeah, what I'm you like, it's a everywhere. cop gotta be having a really yeah. shitty day to like give you like a smoking a public ticket. That's real. That's real shit. They like, gotta be having a bad day. Like you're not allowed to jaywalk here, but everybody does it. Like I'll do it in front of a cop. I'm like, dude, come on, really, dude. I was like, I'll show you where the trap houses are at in Compton, homie. Like you don't even they don't even hide them. Like it's cool, dude. Like well, I already know. You yeah, know, I was like, yeah. that's real crime, dude. I'm walking across the street. I know here. it ain't nothing. Now if they man. There's bigger shit to worry about. Bigger fish to fry than some fucking weed. No, right off the bat, I gotta ask you, how old are you, man? I just turned 23 yesterday. Damn, all right, so you're young, man. Hey, Damn, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, just yesterday. That's like new. To, about happy late birthday, by the good way. Good looking, yeah, man. Good happy looking. Lady, thank, man. You, thank you. It's thank this you. new, new gener newer generation, younger generation, newer sound. And I gotta tell you, man, like right off the bat, because I'm very observant, man. Like, you know, like a lot of my, like when, when I do stand up comedy, like a lot of my jokes come from being a very observant person. And oh, yeah. I heard your music, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, man, this fool looks like one of my homies that skates, but damn, this fool has a different voice. Hey, you know oh, God, I mean? like, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I was tripping out you. I was tripping out. Do you get that? Hey, a lot, that was man? a perfect description <laughs> of who I am as a person the homie that skates, but it's different. You know, and I already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I grew up skating out in Seattle. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, damn, so you're you're a uh, no. I've been skateboarding since I was like 10, 11 years old. I was just oh, at the barracks. I just the other took day. a guess on the skating part, just because I'm like all my skater homies had kind of like the same haircut. No, I already know, but I mean, I, I feel like I don't even know. I, I feel like I've had this haircut for too long. If I change it, I don't know what my head looks like. I don't know what the shape <laughs> looks like under that. I could have a fuck. That's no, cool. Head. Just just hold on to it, bro. Trust <laughs> you me. Feel me. Hold on yeah, to yeah, it. Man. Hold on, man. You feel when me? It's gone. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> now my dad got my dad got a full head of hair. I'm I'm half native. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah. My family's from the Window Rock Reservation in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, so my pops is full blood native, and he's got a full. Like, he got a, yeah, he got. He's gonna have hair till the day he dies. Oh, he got God. the like the, the the long ass ponytail. And he, shit. No, he don't got the long. He just he basically got my hair, but just like like black and thicker. Yeah, oh yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. Now, did oh, you yeah. grow up? You said you're half na you're half native. Did you uh, did you grow up like around those traditions? Because like usually when I meet like like uh, homies out here that'll be like, oh yeah, like I'm part of you know Mayan or something like that like yeah. if, and, and it's very rare to find that these days no, I so, feel you. I feel so you. like whenever they, they say that they're like oh yeah like during this time we'll go out and do these dance and they get all like feathered up and all this shit you know what oh, I mean so, like, no, like I, I was never a person who who did no dance or nothing I grew up in Seattle like my whole life you know what I'm saying but I would just be back and forth visiting my family on the res in Arizona and they would always come up so I grew up with the influence and like culture and tradition like they were speaking Navajo at every like family gathering you know what I'm saying like, yeah, so, so like yeah no I grew up with it in the household but like at the same time like like I'm a dirty city skater kid from Seattle. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's where I became. You're a new generation. It's a mixture of different. It's a things. mixture of both. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. just gives me its perspective though, because like half my family's on the reservation, so I see that stuff every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with that every single day, and like living with that. So like I, I, I just see both sides. It's a cool perspective though. That's you feel dope. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So what? Uh, so <clears throat> what was the first artist, whether uh, whether it was hip hop or whatever? Or what was the first musical artist that you heard that made you pay attention and like, yo? That baby love music and like made you, it? yeah, that it made clicked, you kind of just like where you were just like, yo, I, I need to listen to this so over was, and over and over again. Like in hip hop or in general? Either or, general, man. Both. So I'll say in general first, like when I first heard Green Day, my sister put me on. It was on her iPod. Damn, Green or, Day. Or, yeah, that's or, cool. She had this. Yeah, no, I loved Green Day. That was like the first music I was like, I had a whole lemonade stand so I could buy like the American Idiot album when it dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I was, that's I was a Green like, Day for fan. Real. You know, no real shit. That's crazy. And then the first like hip hop, like, but but before that, my dad was putting me on to like Eminem show and uh, the Score by the Fugees. So he would play those in the car to, like, every basketball game. So, like, Eminem and the Fugees were, like, some of the first hip-hop that ever, like, spoke to me and, like, I would, like, listen to a lot. And then Green Day. So those three right there for sure. That's a very yeah. broad mix, man. Yeah, no, it's Yo. different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's cool, though. It's cool, though. Like, yeah. Dope, my, dad, my dad listens to everything, but, like, that's what he put me on to. That's like yeah. a, it's like, you know I mean? I imagine you, well, see, you're, you're a DJ, so, like, you, you have to have a broad fucking library. So, like, yeah, for you, it's like, that's, like, everywhere right know. there, dude. See, and your generation
man, whatever caught my eye as a kid. I mean, I grew up on the internet, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't I didn't know who Wu-Tang was until I could already go download them on Datpiff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's you know, that's you like, get what I'm right. saying? Like, hey, I it's real up, shit, though. That's how you yeah. found out, though. But that's the internet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I went to the skate park one day, and they were like, oh, here's your... Let me, let me see what your iPod is. And it was my sister's iPod. And it was just like Green Day, Fallout Boy, Blink-182. And they were like, oh, all no. All the Warped Tour when it was dope? Yeah, all that. They were like, oh, no, this ain't going to work. So all the homies at the skate park put me on to everything. And that's when I first started. I was like 10 years old. Wow. Yeah. Hey, it, was, it, it was your life was like the like the. And my life changed from that day. I remember, I remember where I was standing at the same skate park. We just threw a listening party there too. I picture you having homies like the fools from mm -hmm. mid '90s and shit. You know, like, no, no, yeah. you know, crazy, you know what I mean? Like when I seen the trailer for mid '90s, I was pissed because I'm like, bro, I was trying to make that movie because like I direct <laughs> all the music videos or like a lot of the music videos, and like I'm trying to like make movies when I'm older. But when I seen the trailer for mid '90s, I was like. Bruh, that's my movie. Like, like, that's, that's me. That's me as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. you know, like you know, real shit. Like that movie was like literally our lives. I oh, never, God. I never got into in Seattle, not LA. Into skating and stuff like that. Like you know, I feel like I just couldn't do it. And I, you know, I didn't like getting hurt. But like I had a lot of skating <laughs> homies. So like I do, I do know what you mean when like they say like the resemblance. Because a lot of my friends that grew up on that, they're like, dude, that's like our life. You know? No, what was yeah. the Dog Town? Was that's the other awesome. one before the generation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. When you grow up skateboarding, like, people who skate know, like, that's all you do. That's your whole life. It's like, a lifestyle. It, Same like, here, man. Like, part of growing up for me was realizing that, like, I didn't have to only skate. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you grow up skating as a kid, you're like, oh, everything else is whack and corny. This is all I'm trying to do. And then growing up is also being like, all right, maybe I'm going to get a couple pairs of shoes that I like. I like. I'm going to get a, a fit that ain't stained. I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. you feel me? Those like, are, those are your I had to grow good. out of just being, because like, my mindset was on, on some dirty skater kid shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I remember when I was skating, like, I skated up until, like, every day until when I started wanting to DJ. I had to make that decision of like, I'm either going to continue to skate or I'm going to give uh, everything no. I got into learning my craft, my DJ shit. Hell yeah. And so I was like, all right, I'm still going to skate to like get around and shit, but I'm not going to try to do it like I did it. And no, then I just put no. everything into DJing. And it's then like I was getting like, away right. from a social oh drug God. and shit. No. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's like, a hell of a social drug and it still is to this day, dude. I, there's <coughs> nothing more freeing than going skating for like an hour or two out there just hell on your yeah. own. Yeah, even just the older you get to, the riding, just riding down the street just, just cruising, makes you more dog. happy. You know what I'm saying? You already Ooh, know. You're, you feel me? I'm only 23, but I'm already washed. Like, I can't do the same shit I used to do. That's man. my like, shit. I mean, you, you, be, know. you being 23, man, like, you know, I'm 29 and like this, to me, I'm like, oh shit, that's like my, my little brother's kind of difference. And yeah. you have a very, very broad uh, resume, man. Like, you know, I don't really know too. I mean, I've been, I've got the chance to be in the smoke box, have interviewed dope people here, and I, but like, I don't really know too many people that have a song with Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> like, how the yeah, fuck yeah, is that? Yeah, not only that, up, but you have a song with Sir Mix a lot and Macklemore on this new project, yeah. right? And yeah. a track. Yeah. yeah how the fuck? Like, like how does that happen? You're 23, bro. Like, hey, what the man. Fuck? So like, being from Seattle, it's a small, it's a smaller city. You know what I'm saying? It's a small group of people making music. I mean, I mean, there's hella kids making music, but like, everyone knows everybody in a sense. Like, as soon as someone plays a show, like, I might have seen his name. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like that. So like. Macklemore showed me love way early. You know what I'm saying? Let you open like, up, right? Let me open up the tour. We did Fallon together. Damn. That was when I had like, no, I had like no followers. I went on tour with him on a tour bus when I was like 3,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? Like he, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? He like put, he put Damn, me on for real. Damn, that's dope like, as fuck, dude. And like, and then, so I just like been doing my thing since then. After he took me on tour, I was like, all right, I got to capitalize on this because like not a, lot, not a lot of people, people don't get this help. You know what I'm saying? People don't get this exposure. So I just stay consistent and put like all my money into like making videos and doing all this other shit and then kept it moving. Gio from the Blue Scholars, that's someone I've known like, cause I, I grew up in the scene, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gio from the Blue Scholars, like I grew up going to Blue Scholars shows. So like him, him I just hit up, Ben I hit up. And then it was funny too, cause like, I had to go about it in a certain way. Like I knew if I got Geo first, then Mac would get on the song. And if I got Mac first, then Sir Mix-a-Lot would get on the song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like had the outline. I, exactly, yeah. you feel me? So I, but we hit up Sir Mix-a-Lot people and they were like, hey man, like no promises. All I wanted him to do was like talk shit on it. I wanted him to be like, hey, it's Seattle, da 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 da. All I wanted him to do was talk shit. They were like, no promises. They called me back 20 minutes later. They were like, so I don't know, but he's really excited. He wants to go record the verse right now. He said he'll have it for you in like two, three hours. Damn. I was like, Damn. you know what I'm saying? No, Sir Mix a lot like held me the fuck down, and like he was the quickest person to send a verse on the whole project. Sir Mix a lot, you know what I'm saying? That's one of them that makes me take a step back. Hey, when, that's... when he sent us the verse, all the homies were like, "Hey, bro, Sir Mix a lot just sent you a verse." 
<laughs> remember that. Remember this moment. And I was like, nah, That's for real. That's pretty tight. That's you know really saying? tight. It was shit, I remember it for you, dog. Moment. Like, this shit is no, like, I don't really know too many. Life. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah like, and the A track. How did the A track thing come about? Yeah, he just, he just been fucking with me for a second. He just like followed me on Twitter a while ago. Dope. Reached out, said he fucked with me. And then I seen he was scratching on a few people's records. And I was like, oh shit, I, I need scratching on my record. Don't run. And then I hit him up. Just I was like, all right, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I just shoot my shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah. like, all right, bet. And I wonder if he'll scratch on my record. He hit me back. He was excited about it. He loved the record. And he was like, bet, let's do it. And then it just happened to work out. Like, That's yeah, the power no. of the internet, people. You feel me? Like, it's crazy. Especially because, like, I've been doing my thing from Seattle for a while now. And we've had a wave. We've been doing numbers. But, like, I feel like now it's like we're stepping into a whole different, like, realm of this shit. Like, people are starting to, like, reach out and, like, help us out and fuck with us. And it's dope. I mean, your numbers is, I mean, they're, like I said, I was, I got a chance to look. Do you say you direct your videos? See, I got it. I got my a chance. Director, yeah, I write the concepts and shit. I got a chance. Real directors to keep like it around, and, and it's, shit. your people are very like like. Sometimes you could tell when people have that uh those comments that are just very kind of like generic. But some of these people like they be bringing up shit that like I'm like, what are they talking about? And they're talking about an old video that you did, and then I'm like, they've been fucking with you for that minute. So Hell those are yeah. those are the kind of fans that like say a lot nah, about man. you. You accomplishing what you've done, and the shit that you should be proud of, man. Because like 23 and you. You're working with, like, such a broad, like, you know, like, diverse of people on your resume. Like, like I said, I don't know too many people that have Sir mix a lot on a fucking record. Yeah, no, like, when's the last time you heard Sir mix a lot? I, I, I don't know. I just, on the oldies fucking, <laughs> you know. That's you know, sick, you know what I'm man. Saying? Like, <laughs> and no, you know, it's a moment for sure, man. It's, like, it's weird. We have to, like, so, sit back every now and then and be like, remember this. Remember this moment, because this is crazy. Is there is there a history of uh, of music talent, music talent in your family? In or? My family? Um, no, nah, my, my dad's a writer. I'm the first person, like, to really do some music thing in my family, if I, unless I know any. But, like, my sister and I did choir as a kid, like, at, in church and shit. And then my dad's just a writer. But, like, nah, music isn't really in my family at all. But writing is for sure. My parents were always, like, big on me, like, writing stories and, like, poems and shit. Damn. Yeah. That's quite the skill, man. A lot. Uh, writing, Thank you, man. Nah, it's important. Writing is a, you know, that's that was my one way out of uh, English class because I, for some reason, knew how to fucking get get that shit down. You Hell know, yeah. Once you get it down, it's kind of one of those things. It's like, yeah, I want to keep this. You know, no, no, yeah. No, no, I had a good teacher my senior. I had a good teacher my senior year who like, I would like write poems for extra credit because I would never show up. But she like knew I wasn't stupid. She was like, nah, I fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, You're that's a smart it's, kid. It's always you, those but teachers, you, bro. But you don't do no fucking homework and you won't show up. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, all right, just give me poems and they have to be good. And then I'll give you like credit, like extra credit if I like them. Shout out Miss Mellinger. Damn, man. Hey, that's, hey. <laughs> that's some real shit though, man. Like, I don't know if it's like, I, I ended up getting that too. Like, I don't even think that's okay. Don't it's not, no, but it's, they have, what happens more than you think because my English teacher did the same shit to me. She's like, yeah. look, man, I am never going to suspend you because you write sure. some of the best shit and I, we get paid because the class <laughs> the ratio oh, goes up. Yeah. You know, and I'm just like, <laughs> but stop doing that shit. You know, oh, like, God. Oh, they try God. to tell you that, man. So what's, you having such a, like I said, a, like a, a, a good, uh, I don't know, a good big, different taste palette in your music resume like what's your favorite part about it so far because like if you're uh, already here music? yeah or just like your musical career in general like what man are... I, touring is my favorite part man like Damn, being I... on tour and like meeting the people who fuck with me and like the thing is too like I love performing in my hometown because like they're the biggest shows in Seattle they're like the most turns up yeah they're like some of the craziest shows they're like people go super crazy but also when you go to cities that you're not from and you go to like people who've been like you're just a guy from the internet for the past three years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In your head, you're in the same, they're putting you in the same world as like all the people I listen to and all my favorites that I'm trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? So like to see these kids' excitement and like know that the music like did something for them, that shit's tight. Cause I was the same kid going to these shows and shit and it just meant so much to me, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, and music is such like a, you know what I'm saying? I feel like when you listen to music, you attach it to certain points of your life. Yep. So, like, the idea that I could be a part of someone's journey in their life, that shit pretty hard. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite? Where's your favorite part you've been? In, like, the world? Yeah, or, like, so. shit, performing? Man, I, I really love performing in San Francisco. I love performing in, like, Phoenix and Denver. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You been outside the U.S. yet? I've never performed. I performed in Toronto once and Vancouver. Hell yeah. Hey, Toronto's oh, yeah. fun, You're man. Gonna love that. Toronto, I've had some good weed oh, in Toronto, God, right too. Here. Toronto. I had a good bro. weed in Toronto. I didn't, I didn't expect it not to be, no, see, not look, to look hate or this, nothing. This testimonial right here, C-minus. 
I, like he's I, supposed I love to get Toronto too. I love Toronto. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah. Let's fill him in, bro. Because listen. Okay, so Ezone had his first uh, c- comedy tour with a uh, friend, Jason Rouse, out there, oh, yeah, yeah. and so he went to Toronto and was there for like a week and came back and was like, "Yo, I love Toronto. Oh man, it's you know, Toronto. This Toronto. That Canada. 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 Canada." Uh, I haven't stopped like, wearing you know, so had since. You were like, "All right, chill on Toronto, bro." Yeah. Well, after we let him go for a week, right? We were like, "Oh, you know, hey, he's you know, he's." But after a week, I was like, all right, dog, you got to like. <laughs> so every time he's like, see, it's not just me. I love, everyone else hey, loves Canada. Was, yeah, I was only there for a night, but I had hella fun, man. We, like, we played a, like the club, like Rebel or something. Yeah, they have a pretty there. dope night team right out there. Toronto's sick, dude. Yeah, and someone pulled up. like It was like, no, it was like a legal dispensary I think they had. Yeah. And it was super crazy, and the weed was crazy. Now, Toronto's fun, man. Yeah, they had, pretty, they had pretty good weed out there, man. I, but I was impressed. It's, def- <laughs> it's dope to see that you, like, even at 23, I'm like, man, like, I don't know, man. I think it's like, I gotta say at 26, I had like maybe about those same kind of numbers of states that you've been into. So I'm like, you're doing it this young, man. You should be proud of what you're doing, hey, bro. I'm like, trying, it's, man. I'm trying. And so you're, uh, what is it? You're currently with a label right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm over with. I mean, I got a partnership with Epic Records. Yeah, Epic that's Records. Tight. Yeah, man. No, they're good. They're, they're good people, man. Is they're LA good Reed me. still over there? Nah, it's Sylvia Rohn. Sylvia Rohn. Sylvia Rohn. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's the, yeah, that's auntie for real. She's the, hom- she's the homie for us. Are those the type of meetings that you have out there that like they, they pull the cards and then like you're be like, holy shit. It's this person sitting right here. Uh, S- Sylvia Rohn, she's nah, a just, G. Nah, they're cool as fuck though. Like every time you pull it to the label, though, they do a whole. They like clap me in this shit. It's nice as hell. It's some, <laughs> they clap yeah, me they're, in. Yeah, That's they're cool. cool as fuck, but I fuck with them, man. And they just, but they, they were, they believed in me from the like. They see the vision. They they let me do whatever I want, so I fuck with them. That's cool. <coughs> How long you, you been smoking for? <coughs> oh man, disrespectfully, like probably like I think I hit the weed when I was like ten. Oh, shit, for real? That was yeah, before I mean, me? Damn, I grew up with the fake dog. Part. That's what I'm saying. Now, ah, I don't condone it. Right. If you're 10 years old, you don't need to smoke weed. That shit's stupid. But like... But like, yeah, I was, we're not condoning it, but nah, you know, I was like, oh, smoking at ten years old ain't cool. I had friends that shouldn't have let me smoke at ten. You know what I'm saying? Like real life. You know what I mean? Like I was, I, that's hey, I when drank I, first, at I was first going to the skate park, and like that, wow. and like the homies had weed, and I was like, I right, bet. Like I guess we're hitting the weed, and then they have probably started drinking at the same time too. Like we were going in. Damn, going to the it's skate park shit. It's like, that kids skater know. life. Kids know. That's what I'm saying. Like kids. Hey, know. my skater homies did always have some crazy shit to be like, hey. That's what I'm saying. Check this out, because everybody thinks they were over skating. Yeah, on me. Yeah, like. And like, when no, you're a skater, you just move from function to function and group to group. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, all right, I'm, part, I'm gonna go kick it with them over there. They got they got forties. I'm gonna go kick it over there. They got weed. Oh, I'm gonna go. This girl got a quince over here. I'm gonna go pull up on her. She, you know, quinceañeras are lit. Quinceañeras are like going know. to the club when you're 15, dude. Bro. You know what I mean? That bro, shit is tight, bro. Don't like, even know. I was just talking about that today. Like people don't even know. Growing up on the West Coast, we would crash quinceañeras on the weekend if there was yep. no party. If we couldn't find a party, we were like, all right, who's having a key set? Some random person. I, and then you pull up, and they always let you drink. It's yeah. always lit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Nobody asks yeah. you whose kid that is. Nobody They're just like, nothing. hey, that's such and such kid. Just leave him alone. Yeah, they yeah. be kicking yeah. it. They be like, hey, party. Wellers be dancing with me and shit. It's lit. Yeah, yeah I mean, they be, it's I mean, quinceañeras be, be, be lit, hell, man. Yeah. Those, those uncles are the ones that'll let you just be like, yeah, just drink the tecate. It's cool. Nobody yeah, that was the move back then. I was going to say sure. nothing. That's yeah. so. What, now you having to experience and see the progress in weed now, especially growing up in Seattle. What's your favorite uh, weed or, or dab to, to smoke on? Yes, green. Or you dab it all. Indica sativa. I'm definitely an indica person. Hell I, like yeah. I need the heaviest indica. <laughs> I need OG? The shit that's gonna put me on. I need something that's gonna ruin my day. <laughs> Damn. Like, I need something. I'm trying to fight it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I like the. Fight what is that too. for you? I like OG. Like anything OG shit. Like anything mixed Damn. with OG. You know what I'm saying? I really fuck with like. It's not mixed with OG, but like Dosi Dose right now. I'm fucking with Dosi. Yeah, that one's Dose is tight. It's one yeah. of the new flavors. It's yeah, pretty I'm good. fucking with Dosi Dose right now. I'm fucking with. Hmm. I fuck with like Mac, like Miracle Alien. Damn, Mac. that's yeah. hey, we all like that shit here. Yeah, no, Mac, Mac is the Mac. shit. Mac is hard, you know what I'm saying? That's how and you like, know Cap did his job the, the, on that he's one. He's naming strains that like you know you gotta really kind of know around it. That's that's you're you're a real star. We do smoke the same, okay? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. we yeah. say that, it's yeah, like I'm you not get gonna that lie to you, bro. bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. One of the biggest bummers of this rap shit is people who rap about weed don't even really be oh smoking my God, like that, bro. Dude, I swear, oh, preach all that shit, man. I'm not trying to call people out because you don't need to smoke hella. Like it ain't nothing like to. Yeah, but don't. Don't, don't fake do the fuck though. But that's what I'm saying, bro. People be rapping like they smoke hella weed, and not even, it ain't no name shit either, cause it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. But it's like, it's a bummer, cause like 
you'll be kicking it with people who rap about weed, and then you're just like, hey, what's good? Like, you rolling up, they're like, damn, you rolling up again, bro? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that is, that, like, that is, that is, yeah, I thought we was the... kicking it, bro. Like, what? Whoa, whoa. Like, what? Yeah. You yeah. usually yeah. tell me a different story. Be like, yeah. I thought, yo, that's why I wanted to do it. I asked, I asked our, our publicist, I was like, hey, um, I was like, does he smoke? And then like, she, he was like, yeah, he does. And I was like, but does he smoke smoke? Because I got to know how much, how much I got to roll. Because like, there is smoking and then there's really smoking. People don't really smoke. That's the reason bro. I came prepared, man. I was like, I was like, this guy knows the difference between quality. He's not just going to call it gas like a lot of the rappers that you know, I've had here. Though, I, did, like, I smoked hella as a kid, but then I stopped from like, like 16 to like 20. I stopped, I, just, I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking hella because I was like getting black. And like I said, I was drinking. I was smoking and drinking at like 10, 11 years old. I was getting blacked out in like middle school. So like I killed off it for a <laughs> long time. Oh, shit. So it's funny like because like, people in my life be DMing me now like, what's up? Like, you don't even smoke. You never smoke. Because back when I knew them, you know what I'm saying? They were like, you wow. didn't smoke. You didn't smoke. You never smoked. But now like the rap game definitely did it to me. For sure. <laughs> shit is fucking stressful. The best weed is in your face all the time. And now I know way too much about this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That. You kind of become picky, but at the same time, it's like you don't oh, want to end up be, getting fucking. Yeah, you don't. It's you're number one. You're in. You're inhaling it and adjusting it. And number two, you, that's how you end up with those cart situations. And even on the West Coast, a lot of people like <coughs> not in LA. I can't speak for LA, but even in Seattle, a lot of people are smoking whatever ass weed. Like I'm gonna be real with you, just because like because it's so legal and like easy to get. There's so much like. Bad weed in I the mean, sports. the average beer drinker drinks Bud Light or Miller Light, which is not, no no good I, for you. That's so, exactly how I compare but it. But that's that's people are like, yeah, that's retail like, oh, why weed do you for need, you. Why do you need to, Why do you need that weed? And I'm like, cause I'm not trying to hit the maker's mark. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm, saying? I'm trying to. Get I'm not trying to drink UV vodka. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not, I don't need the Kirkland shit. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, yeah. You know what I mean, like, see, that's that's a great comparison right there, man. Yeah, on me, on me. People don't understand, though. and it is what it is. People don't need to smoke. I, I like the on me. We smoke too much. See, the you say on me a lot, and like for a second, like. I'm one of those dudes that like here, like I they they see me go through different things. Like whenever I learn a new word, they fucking know. Like hey, they, oh, like boy, they fucking you. know. For real? Yeah. So when yeah, I he, discovered fucking all me, like yeah, I like yeah. I started just like just like taking it to excess. Like somebody will be talking, be like, "Isn't that all cool? oh, me? me?" Like just like be like, "Hey, dude, fucking chill, dude." Like, hey, there'd be group texts. There'd be group texts. That text. sounds stressful as hell. If someone just yelled that shit at me. Hey, all there'd me? be group texts with all of us and B real, I and mean, we we'd be discussing things, and his answer would be all. Oh, just all caps and be like fuck you didn't have to ask like hey dude like we're just asking like are you gonna be able to make it to work today on me is not a yes or no we can verify like (laughs) (laughs) you just send it on me (laughs) you email you know I've never been to one of your shows but I feel that you like have like special kind of shit for your fans you know what I mean I know man we go crazy we go crazy man like I have a it's me my DJ Biba my drummer Jordan Santana who does all my merch that's my brother from like way back and uh, Elon Wright on the guitar. So, like, yeah, I got drums and a guitar. So it just turns, it turns the shit up. But, like, it's, a, you know, sometimes when you see a rapper who got drums and a guitar, sometimes they drown it out and, you, like, you lose what the song is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my people play super tight. You know what I'm That's saying? So, sick. You know what I'm saying? So, so it sounds really good and it sounds clean and it just adds to the, the sometimes... vibe, man. Now, I'm really proud of the live show because, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't rap over my own vocals, none of that. Like, we go in. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's cool that you would even address it. Because sometimes when you see a live band try to reinterpret a program beat it loses that feel of whatever that program beat was I know exactly you know what you're saying there's that just what that thing is the same swing yes absolutely if it fills in too many pockets that you didn't want you know what I'm saying I already know yeah man that's dope you just even because some drummers when you grow up in a certain style of music and then you try to drum over rap yep it just doesn't translate the same you know what I'm saying but drum is hard as fuck I don't know nothing about that yeah it is (laughs) it's super hard you gotta use everything at once I was gonna ask you what's your what's your uh, your audience like man cause it's like you you kinda have this you do this singing like but it's not like uh, it's actually it's understandable singing which is what I like to kinda call it when the people use that effect so it's kinda like uh, you know I could like it has that feel where it's just like it's kinda a mixture of pop but then at the same time it's it has its own different sound, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, man, it's definitely melodic, and every They're everything we do is words. melodic. Yeah, it's it's. But at the same time, like I think we don't compromise it for like bars and narrative. I feel like it's like it's catchy, but at the same time, like there's something there. There's something there you can learn from and like take. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like the because melodies, like I feel like when it's like when you have a lot of artists that. Like when it's it's very melodic, it's it just no it no longer stays into one kind of demographic because like you could have somebody that nah, like yeah. might like it that's like nah, fifteen the, and then you nah, have somebody that's shows, like thirty. Yeah, our yeah. shows are crazy. Our shows are completely so spread out that it's like there'd be like 
40 year olds in there sometimes there'd be like Damn, that's tight. 21 year olds in there there'd be like 13 year old kids they'll be they'll be like kids my age there's you know what i'm saying i mean obviously the core demographic is like 16 to like 25 you know what i'm saying like that's who's really pulling up but then like more people pull up than they think like every time people pull up to the show they go oh i thought i was gonna be the only old person here and i'm like nah man the music <laughs> resonates with more than just person. a certain age group you know what i'm saying like and people been rocking with us for a second too so it's like yeah <laughs> We got a we got a whole different <laughs> range of people, and also what's crazy too is like my song "Need You" did hella well in South America and Mexico. Damn. So like my top five cities are completely it's either Mexico City or it's a South American city. Damn, that's pretty. And like dope, so when man. you go to my YouTube, all the comments are in Spanish and shit. So you say well, you say you're half native, and what's the what's, what's the I'm just a white. My mom's like I I think German or Irish or <clears> something. <throat> like yeah, no half the, native. Mexico, half like, hey, put that put that widow song back on. Eh? <laughs> 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 no, but they be no they they fuck with me, man. You, like they they fucked with me for a long time, and like they support like. You know what's gonna trip them out is like, do you go out there? Cause like you would look That's like you're. I'm, I'm trying to go out there so bad, man. I'm trying to get out to Mexico City so bad. Like, I'd, like if, like if I were to be in like a family reunion and shit, I'd be like, oh, this must be like one of my cousins from like my dad's side. He's very light skinned, and I'd go up to you in Spanish, but like, hey, is it? What's up? You know, some shit no, is bad. You know, there are some, know, yeah, people and it'd be like, be like, I don't speak Spanish, fool. Yeah, people, people be thinking my dad's Mexican now, but he native, yeah. Man, dude, that's a. Uh, you got a you got a, a, a dope sound, man. You're Thank you're you, man. working Thank at a very, you're working at a young age, man, and you're taking I'm this fine. shit very serious. And number, t- I mean, uh, aside from that, you you smoke the same, man. This guy, he's out here on he two joints, hey. like he, hey, man, he's keeping up. Nothing. You know I what I'm smoked, saying? I smoked all the way here too. <laughs> that's what I see. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hey, when you said when you said Mac though is one of your personal favorites, yeah. I was like, all yeah, right, man, you, you smoke, know, at, man. Because you gotta taste a lot of shitty. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta shout out. I gotta shout out my brother B Hayes, man. That's my homie. He he really put me on like because i started smoking hella and he was like all right i see you smoking but like you smoking you, you ain't smoking good shit right and then he yeah. put me on the good weed so like now i'm all bougie about it and shit one thing i saw that is that um in your last project if i'm not mistaken you released a film as well right i did yeah i put out a, a, a what's it called a full like 45 minute film with the album damn like that's a wow. and then we did a, a showing for it in my hometown at a movie theater and like we sold it out and shit in this, in this upcoming project that's which cool, is uh, you know it's, it's Reckless Endangerment is that yeah, self-titled Reckless yeah. Endangerment yeah um, are you releasing a film with that too uh, no we're just keeping the videos rolling you know what I'm saying yeah. we're just gonna keep like we always do more videos than we need to you know what I'm saying like that's yeah. that's what my whole bread and butter is man I love making videos cause like I love making videos just as much as I like making music man like it's hella fun to me like I love being on set I love doing all that shit so, the like, fact that you did a film do you do you do you have any plans of taking it into acting and stuff like that? I definitely want to do some acting stuff. I definitely, I don't, I don't want to be like the star of a movie. That's not what I, that's yeah. not my dream. You know what I'm saying? I like making music. Like if anything, I'd love to like really score a movie, but I'd also like to do like little, little random shit in movies. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. to just pop up in a movie randomly. You know how Cuddy will pop up? Like, no, he really acts a shit. Yeah, I mean, but remember like this, how for yeah. a while he, he would use pop up in a random scene? Like, he'd be like behind the, he'd be like a coffee shit, yeah, shop yeah. person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like a cashier or like somebody's <laughs> random little cousin in a, in a movie or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to be. Right, the person that fucking gets like killed by Jason, no movie he likes star, to, he's the last person that sells him something at the liquor store. Like, here you go, dude. No, hell yeah. No, it's super bad. It's a remake. You know, I'm, I have to be in it. Yeah, we said it's... Already, yeah. bro. You, are, you already know. That's you like, seem to have your eye on, on, on what you want already, man. At a young hey, man, age I'm trying, man. You I'm have trying. a... A lot, a lot. Whenever, whenever fools roll up in here and they have like a camp, bro. Like I got to meet your publicist. You came out here with, you know, like, th- like two of your other boys. I'm pretty sure it's business as well as the label. Or, you know, if I'm not, mis- if I'm not, yeah. wouldn't t- had to take a guess. You know, but like, that's the fact that it's like you got it very, you got it down at a, at, very, at a young age, very professional. Thank it you, says bro. a lot because you know we've gotten, we've gotten to have a lot of motherfuckers here that have, you know have been like getting numbers through the roof and they no, have you. come here roofied out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Damn, it's like, or like just, you can't even have an interview with them or like, because like, I'm like, Hey dude, live. I'm like, no, you know, we're smoking weed and I get it if you can't hang, but I was like, you're doing real drugs out there. Cook. <laughs> like, yeah, you're no, real you know, drugs. I was like, I can't fucking be doing this interview. With it. I but, already know. But yeah. I salute you for that, man. And uh, no, I, thank you, man. I appreciate you having me, man. I'm grateful uh, yeah. as fuck to be that anyone even cares about this shit. I do. So I'll be pulling up, but I'll show up high, but I show up on time and I'm ready to go. Hey, that's 
see, that's the way we, that's the way we be, that's the way we all been brought up here at the Be Real's Temple and shit, man. Yeah, man. We go through uh, fireman trading, but with weed, you know it's what I mean? Conditioning, man. It's conditioning. So like, conditioning, you know, you so you could be so you could be high, but also on the job when you. Oh need yeah, to be. absolutely. Oh, like, man. oh hell yeah, dude! I think we smoked the tw- like almost fifteen to twenty joints. Yeah, like earlier, today. like Matt Barnes came by. Like Today he was, you smoked fifteen to twenty yeah, joints already. And yeah. he, he's 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 Jesus. like a real stoner, and he came by. Oh, we're tripping. We're listening to some shit in the studio, and we're like, what the fuck, Matt Barnes is here? And then we just started smoking like. But he, because he smoked it smokes, it was like, whenever we have a guest, we usually like, well, and this is off, off camera, we'll smoke like two or three joints and that, they'll call it when they say they smoke. But like, Matt Barnes is a very known smoker. So like, he would just keep going. Like, just, we, like, we kept rolling and he was over here as a connoisseur. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. that's dope, man. You got, you're on the same kind of stoner shit, but you, you handle your know, shit, man. man. Where, no, I fuck with it. Fuck where, can people, where can people that are watching uh, follow you at, man? And a shout out to shows you're going to be yeah. doing, uh, doing. So people can follow me at Travis X Thompson. So, like, Travis, the letter X Thompson, like, everywhere, social media and shit. You can go to buy tickets to the New York and LA shows at ambombboulevard.com A-M-B-A-U-M-B-L-V-D dot com yep, I'm high as fuck I Hey man this, this dude fucking works hard he fucking directs his videos he's done a film for his stuff Hell yeah, you know man, what I mean? We go hella hard and it's cool that we're like here and shit I appreciate y'all letting me Jimmy come through Jimmy Fallon bro. fucking Macklemore uh, what is, <laughs> you know I, the list goes on and on Sir, yeah, uh, Sir yeah. Mix a lot like 8 yeah, track man. Yeah man Fuck man it's a, and, and this is and you're 23 man so you got a long way ahead of you Thank you man Definitely Thank like, I feel old in rapper years, but like it is what oh, it yeah. is. People be like, people be like, seventeen popping as fuck now. What it is, what it is, man. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You're so right about that, man. You're like, man, he's thirteen. What the nah, fuck? hell yeah, nah. I mean, I'm I'm kicking it though. I, I love where I'm at, man. I'm chilling. Hell Keep yeah. killing it. What you're doing, I definitely want to have you sometime here in the future. Even if you're in LA, man, hell you're always yeah, welcome man. here. I'm on the hell yeah. no, I fuck with it here. One. Like I said, when I walked in, I said it feels good in here. I was like, I feel like at home. Oh you know man, what I'm hell yeah. yeah, man. Set the vibe right. Uh, but uh, shout out to you guys that have been watching on the We Don't Smoke the Same show. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Make sure you check that out. We'll be right back here on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show. BeReal.tv BeReal.tv Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, hit that share button and drop a comment or two. I don't care if they're Jeffro comments. <laughs> What's up, Jeffro? Stupid piece of trash. Nah. <laughs> hey, he has that coming for me, eh? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, for everything else, High and Hungry TV on Instagram. Uh, make sure you uh, check out the, uh, for all the other interviews at youtube.com slash we don't smoke the same podcast. Uh, morning Shot Films. Uh, go to razdude.com for all your uh, fucking uh, dirtbag needs. All your dirtbag <laughs> needs. Yep. Check out Alley Reviews. And yep. uh, we're going to continue smoking weed. Uh, flavorsbyezone.com. And we'll see you. Anything else? No. C minus fan four. Follow me on all the social medias. I got to go roll some shit up. We're out of here, eh? Yeah, Doug. Be real. TV.